The company was started by Dave Bickers, which is Paul Bickers' his father. Um, Paul Bickers' his father, Dave, was a motocross champion. And at the end of his career, he was looking for an avenue of work. Uh, he was quite closely involved with some of the earlier films because he did some motorbike riding for stunts himself. So he got to talking to some of the stunt men and then decided that he got an avenue of providing stunt support by fitting roll cages and safety equipment into the cars and also to start developing a fleet of camera tracking vehicles, which then developed um, on a lot of large movies such as Bond, uh, the Bourne series and Fast and Furious amongst quite a few others. This is the ultimate in um, high speed and precision tracking vehicle. It's called the Russian Arm. It's gyro stabilized. The arm is gyro stabilized using tank barrel technology from Russia. It also carries in a gyro stabilized head. So it gives you the perfect still image uh, on all terrain and also all speeds. We quite often use this vehicle for Formula One corporate shoots and also it's on, used on most feature films that come from the UK. This is our new Ford Raptor. Uh, the Raptor was bought um, to go off on Star Wars, it went to Jordan. Um, it carries the Russian arm, the same camera equipment as what you saw on the ML63 in the transporter, and it, it's more for high speed. It's um, close on 600 horsepower and it's got ro good road clearance, so it's a good off road, high speed Russian arm vehicle. This is our mini uh, higher speed uh, plate shot vehicle. As you can see, the roof has been removed and the roll cage can be removed. The driver's and passenger seat can be lowered and then the camera can be put in the centre position to give you a 360 degree array plate setup. So what was your favourite job to work on? Yeah, the favourite job I guess was Fast and Furious 6 because we had, I actually organised, we planned and installed all of the stunts for Fast and Furious 6. So every single car that you see rolling over, every car you see going through the air, we planned it, we rigged it, and we travelled around the world with Fast and Furious 6. Uh, we went to Tenerife, we also went to Glasgow, we went to Bentwaters to do the car, the plane crash. We did the tank chase sequence, which you see in the movie as well. Um, it took 10 months and uh, possibly 12 to 15 guys working on it throughout that 10 month period. So what was your most challenging job? The most challenging job was Jaguar High Wire. We had to put a Jaguar XF onto high wires and it had to drive over part of the River Thames. That was possibly six to eight weeks in testing and planning. The, ca the cables alone cost over £150,000. These cables were made from Dyneema, which is a lightweight carbon rope basically. And we actually drove the car across part of the River Thames live for the launch of the car. We were so pleased at the end of that job when they said wrap because there were so many complications to get over and so many things which could have gone wrong and it was being streamed live across the world. Congratulations everyone, we have reached a new world record. The record distance of a car on a wire. So well done, congratulations Jim, congratulations team. The picture below to the right is one of the stunts that we rigged on Fast and Furious 6 in Tenerife. You can see the car in the air had a cannon in the front the car on the ground upside down, sliding on its nose, had a driver in, cannon on the side. They were linked together by the timber structures you can see in the picture. And when the driver pressed the button in the silver car, they both exploded. The cannon detonated and they finished up upside down. Good thing when you're working on a, a movie with a budget like Fast and Furious, where the budget for cars and alone was over 15 million pounds, um, you get time to do rehearsals. So each of these stunt elements, we did at least two to three rehearsals of the whole stunt. So we, we don't go in blind when we're filming. We've actually rehearsed it until we've got it how exactly what they want to see. And then we actually go live with the camera. Yeah. So we did at least three driven tests with this before we actually did that shot for real. And then again, 
Actually, when you're filming it on the day, on a large feature film, they will have at least two runs, sometimes three. So there, be, there would have been at least, on this occasion, there were six vehicles prepped, exactly the same. So if we have to go more than once, because time is money, they cost a million dollars a day on Fast and Furious. So you have to film, get something in the bag at the end of the day, and you can't be waiting for a broken vehicle. You have yeah. to have other ones ready to go.